America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing a terrible civil conflict in 1778. The spring of 1778 in Pennsylvania and New York saw the opening of a terrible civil war in one of the most brutal phases of the American Revolution. With a Continental Army focused on Philadelphia, Joseph Brandt, a charismatic Mohawk, began a guerrilla war on the weakened American outposts in the Mohawk and Upper Susquehanna Valleys. On May 30th, Brandt's 350 Loyalists and Indians ambushed a unit of Continentals near Cobleskill, New York, killing 20 soldiers and burning all houses and farms in the area. Two months later, on September 17th, Brandt's marauders raided German flats where they burned 120 structures, killed livestock, and trampled the yet-to-be-harvested wheat fields. This destruction left over 1,000 settlers utterly destitute, without food or shelter. While Brandt was terrorizing the Mohawk Valley, Colonel John Butler and his rangers, a unit of 400 loyalists and 800 Seneca warriors, made their way into the Wyoming Valley in northeastern Pennsylvania. The Battle of Wyoming, also known as the Wyoming Valley Massacre, resulted in 300 Patriot militia deaths, about two-thirds of the American force facing Butler. After burning 1,000 farms and killing all livestock, Butler forced the remaining civilians to leave the valley, but the nearest settlements were 50 miles away. Without adequate food or clothing, and with no easy path to follow, many women and children got lost and perished from starvation and exposure. It is estimated well over 1,000 civilian refugees died from this tragic event in the Wyoming Valley. Unfortunately, there were more raids to come. Next week, we will discuss the terrible Cherry Valley Massacre. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.